So it's just such a great blessing that, that we now have access to, to an education in, in our true nature of our minds. To really see for ourselves that our mind is actually fundamentally clear and pure already. So if you think about the worst, crazy, most afflictive thought and emotion right now, deeply you recognize instinctively that it doesn't affect the mind at all. If we feel it does, it's just an idea. <laughs> because that's just not who we are. So really to come to see more and more that our mind and who we truly are is just like a crystal ball. It's just pure and clear, open, ready to reflect and be with anything, anyone, anywhere. There's no rejection, no resistance, just a pure openness. And that is who you truly are. And I find that so amazing because practically like, for instance, sitting up here, I could label it as so fun, <laughs> being so enthusiastic about it. Or I could label it as just horror. <laughs> but it just doesn't matter. You know, I can write fun in the air. I can, oh, it's horror. But I'm here talking regardless. And that's such a demonstration of who we truly are. That, you know, we can label, we can describe, but it's just moving air around in reality. In the real reality, we're just using energy of moving air around. And for me, just to recognize that have helped me so much when it comes to decision making. Because I see throughout my life, I made so much out of decisions. While actually decisions, what is it really? It's just things happening all the time, isn't it? Like, I can move this way or I can, you know, I can stand up now if I decide to do so or it's just, but what we are trained to do is to use our mental activity and make long lists of positive, negative, and then, you know, let's see what is most positive, what is most negative. Oh no, tomorrow it changes. It's just endless changes all the time. So I have found my pure and empowered ab ability to really live a life I really want to live by relaxing, thinking about how I want to live it. And it's just radical, because in the beginning, I, I thought it wasn't possible. And I felt completely unsafe to do that. But the more we train up through this lifestyle of the mainstays, what we really access is that sense of complete trust and complete assurance that all is fine already, really, not like a a philosophy, but it's, it's fine already. So, so your well-being is truly not dependent on any circumstance. And, and take a look at that right now, you know, that's powerful. Because it means that we can make true decisions when we are not dependent on a specific result for us to feel safe and feel that this is the best life ever because life isn't like that. So when we relax with that, we see that we live in our life and we take decisions every minute. So, so it's not about the result. We're training up how to be with our data, with all of our thoughts and emotions, you know, not what the data are, but we, we train up ultimately to let all data be as it is. And to have an education to feel safe to do that and test it is, is revolutionary. Because it sounds so simple, but when we start to test it in our life, then all of our mechanisms and all of our strategies and all of our ideas just comes full force and tells us the opposite. Tells us to manipulate, change, you know, all the pressure on ourselves. It's not needed. It truly is not needed. So when you see in nature, you know, it's such a, a teacher, you, you know, you, if you see a snake that have all these knots and, and you just see how the snake is just, you know, the knots are just 
yeah, he's just unknotting himself. And that's what I see more and more with all these ideas, all these thoughts I have, all the emotions. If I relax with them, they're just coming and going naturally. They're just dissolving naturally. So what it means to really get real with yourself and get real with life is that there is no separation anywhere. Balanced view people, not balanced view people, old people, young people, you know, whatever it is. But that's just mental energy <laughs> and not something we need to really take to be something special. But I, what I found is that my ability to decide how would I really like to live my life and what would I like to do with my time, my energy, my resources, that is just clearer and clearer. And, and to me, to make a decision to use the four mainstays, because I see that the more I use them, the simpler my life is. It's just easier to make decisions, it's easier to be with people, because I truly, I, I, I never managed to... <laughs> I never managed to, to really have a power over my own data because I see they're wild. So how on earth could I ever think that I could manage other people's data? I mean, it's just, we, we still think that. We might sit here and still think we can do that, you know? Maybe we have a boyfriend or a girlfriend we really <laughs> want to change and we, we know some strategies and some manipulation there we can do. But it's still just moving air around because fundamentally it's not our responsibility. And that will never lead to anything. So just to be with, with family members or, or with friends here at the center and to train right here, right now, to let yourself be as you are, then you ultimately just you're not even interested in changing others anymore. Because the training is right here, right now with yourself and everything that comes up, all your thoughts and ideas about other people. Where is it? Where is it? It is in your mind. You make just an idea that comes, and, and, and that's fine. It's totally fine to, to, to think and feel the most crazy stuff, the most afflictive stuff. Because it's only with relaxing with it that you can demonstrate for yourself that you are that crystal ball that is really not affected by what you think and feel. Because nobody can really tell you that. You can listen and, ah, oh, sounds great. I want to be that crystal ball. You know, <laughs> but you wouldn't find the result unless you tested it in your life, in the situations. And I see you do that already because you're smiling and you recognize you've seen that, you know? And it's just funny then, because all this pain and suffering comes because we have a misunderstanding. We think that it affects us, but in reality, it's just an idea. So we're just uh, repeating an idea and we feel more and more miserable. <laughs> it's, just a <laughs> it's just an illusion, everything. So um, what I come to see in my own life is that when I, when I have invested some time and energy and, and, and just invested that time in taking those short moments, I, I really love that instruction where we can really go and, and see for a day and really focus on that and commit to that and test to see is it safe to relax here as well? Is it okay to take a short moment and see that this idea I have right now is totally fine to have, but I don't need the idea to define me? I can just let it be as it is. And just to, to use your real life experience as a laboratory, that's where you study. That's where you test. And throughout that day, maybe fill it with you know, all the other nice tools of the mainstays. And, and it's just so amazing to see the power it has on your own instinctive recognition because it's an education in instinctive recognition. So it isn't an education that is similar to any other education you ever, ever have tested. It's the first time in my life I've tested an education that really empowers me to instinctively see that I am 
totally fine as I am. And that the data doesn't matter. The data has no power over me, and I can see that by relaxing all of that, I am more Nina than ever. <laughs> and I thought that it would be less Nina than ever, you know, that Nina would disappear, or yeah, like, who would I be then, and you know? It's crazy, but we, we, we only know when we test it for ourselves. And um, what is also so uh, obvious then, when we do relax all this focusing on data, because ultimately, yes, it is a complete self-focus. I, I, I found then that what is really at the core of, of my being, of who I am as a human being, is a complete burning desire to contribute to others. And that it's such a relief to, to say, you know, to break free from this obsessive self-focus. Because to break free from that, for me, has meant to be a, you know, completely open and completely honest about all the ideas about myself. To say, hands up, I don't believe in it anymore. But that takes courage. But that courage is just, to me anyway, a natural product of being in the mainstays. So it's not like that courage, I have to do that, you know. <laughs> it's just that amazing courage to, to, to test that I don't believe in anything anymore. No, no idea. It can be there and it's fun, you know, all these ideas. But I don't need to believe in it. <laughs> And come to see the power I truly am just by doing that. It's just amazing. And I, I've seen in my own life that the, the, the worst self-focus ever was, was when I was depressed. And I thought it was when I you know, was living a very lifestyle where I was having all these really career jobs and traveling all over the world and being arrogant. I thought that was self-focusing, you know. But when I fall into this depression, it was just like 24-7 self-focus. So to break free from the victim role there and see that all I was doing is was focusing on myself, you know, but desperately thinking that, that was, I didn't have a choice in the matter. But it's just a, such a relief to see that it's, it's safe to totally relax. And then we can find that we have so many insights and so many questions, or maybe no questions. So, so there isn't any, you know, a special way to be when we relax. I remember one time when I was just introduced to this training, I, I asked one of the trainers, uh, it's like, oh yeah, so to recognize myself as uh, open intelligence and that there is something always stable about me means I always sit still. And the trainer said, Oh, really? I, I feel I move all the time. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all these ideas. Okay, uh -huh. it's not about that. It's not about the ideas about this to look a certain way, and we can just relax with, with all the, you know, if you want to ask a question, we ask a question, and we know it benefits everyone. And, and also that, that, as it was shared here today, that uh, power of just sharing something in a group normalize it's the experience for everyone so so it's just it's we can just totally relax there and and that is really the core of the training that we we more and more and more can relax in all the thoughts about i should have behaved differently i should have say other things i i should have done this that uh, or the other and all the other people should have done different things you know it's just time to get real and time to st st stand up for something that's, that's more than micromanaging over a little world. You know, it's, it's just time to let all of that go and you can really feel so safe within the lifestyle of the Four Mainstays to do that. And, and that's why I, I just see this education as, as the biggest contribution to world peace ever. 
you know, and, and we are here in Sweden in this forest and we have, you know, this amazing peace center that I wish every, every human being could pass through in their life. To just see how it is to really respect each other and to really love each other and not be embarrassed about loving people, you know, to, to be able to express that without all the ideas we have about love and, and just to be authentic and real and, and not care about any of these conventional ideas <laughs> and all the, the learned ideas and just be free to, to test in our real life what life is all about and not live from ideas. <laughs>